What's up, guys? True Crime King back on this weekend. How we doing? All right. So uh, we got a, sh a shirtless New York judge, and we got some angry cops, uh, and we we got a mad wife. We got a recipe for fun, right? So uh, I'm gonna be breaking this down, and let's see what happens. Uh, Obviously, from the title, this judge shoves the cop. Uh, video shows shirtless New York judge shove cop. But let's let's uh, see the whole thing, and then uh, we'll see if he's justified. Right? Here we go. There's the shove. They're gonna play it again. I'm sure. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but I mean, you kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard, and I don't appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. So okay, I can appreciate that. I mean, if I had a wife, and uh, I don't care who it was, uh, was attacking her, I, I probably would uh, do the same thing. I'm not going to lie, right? Uh, you know, he gave him a little shove. Uh... I'm not too upset with that. It wasn't like it wasn't uh, like a it wasn't a woman. Uh, the cop was he was being like uh, I guess he was doing what he needed to do, right? But uh, it's still his wife, right? Sure, well, you were a police well, officer and she was screaming. No, in my, my face. daughter's a police officer. I know what you guys are going through right now. And trust me, my daughter's police officer, my son in law's police officer. That's my irrelevant. My, That's my irrelevant. Son, and if your daughter and approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grabbed my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Okay. So you need to chill. Okay. There's no way he, he, he could have just dragged dead weight that far. I mean, she, she, had, she was walking and crawling to, you know. She was going that way. Um, I still can understand what he's what he's talking about. The cops uh, manhandling his wife, right? But his wife shouldn't be uh, fighting police officers and getting up in their face in the first place, right? A lot about that. I mean, he should have controlled his wife first, or she should have controlled herself. Right. Uh, nothing good comes from getting in a fight, uh, a literal fight with a with a police officer. Right. I'm just, I'm I have a leaving. camera, so that I'm it's, it's all documented. I don't care about your camera. Just give it a little constructive criticism, oh. dude. Okay. okay. Use some constructive criticism. Okay. Now watch this cop. This cop uh, kind of kind of uh, owns this guy. Pretty good here. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about you don't belong with the mayor? Why don't you shut the f up? Sorry, Listen, quiet. Shut the f mouth. What's your husband doing? What's your husband doing? Okay. You want to be. Okay, so we, this, is, this is an example of two people in authority exercising their authority, right? We got this judge who is, is used to being the, the top uh, man on the, on the totem pole, right? And then we got the cop. Who is also used to being on top of the totem pole, right? So we got we got the judge who who was saying, "Oh, I'm gonna call the mayor and all that crap." So then the cop, he's like, "Oh, you you gonna say that? Well, well, screw you then, right? Because in this situation, the cop is on the top of the totem pole, not the judge, right? So now he's." He might not be arresting him, but he's at least uh, gonna put him in handcuffs and uh, and show him who's boss, right? At least on in this uh, situation, the cop is the boss. Be difficult. You want to say all these coppers and all these things? Oh, I don't want to make us look dirty. Is that what you want to do? I'm so how am I helping you now? How come? Tell me how can I help you? How? Shut, shut up and let me talk to you, you old geezer. Shut up. Shut up and let me talk to you. Wow, that cop is really mad. You had so much to say and you touch a cop. So let me talk to you, guy. Let me talk to you, guy. 
You can tell that cop, he wants to, he wants to punch him in the face. That's, that's how mad that cop is right now. You're not done talking yet, and I'm not done talking to you. So let's be quiet, Dad, so Son can get some words in. You're saying everybody's name and dropping everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting a special treatment. How does that look like to everybody in this environment right now? It doesn't look good. I know, and you're right. Grab him? You're what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Why are you still over talking? You're over the we're going back over to I can understand that. I mean, the judge, he knows all these guys' names. He's dropping all their names, right? And so, and everybody's getting all this on video. I mean, there's an unwritten rule. You don't just blast out everybody's names because you know them or you know their name, right? If you work with them. Like, like judges and cops. They work together. I mean, they see each other in the courtroom all the time, right? Um, so, and this, that was pretty funny. Let's, let's see what else. They're saying that you pushed an officer. You didn't. You wouldn't do that, would you? You know what? What he, what he was, what he dragged. Well, uh, uh, he did. That's his, probably his lawyer. <laughs> He dragged Maria, when the two girls were on Maria, he was dragging Maria across the street and actually was taking her down on my front lawn. And I basically said, listen, just, like, talk to her. And I no, you, he basically just ran up and pushed the cop, right? I mean, is that what everybody saw in the video, right? I don't think he stood there and just uh, tried t calmly talking with the cop. He just, he pushed him. And he admitted pushing him, right? And now he's trying to make it sound better for his lawyer. <laughs> just, just own it, dude. I mean, you just did. You just owned it on camera. Why? Just why aren't you owning it to your lawyer now? I pushed him, and I said, "Don't friggin' tackle her." And I pushed him. All right, you guys, you guys decide. You guys, let me know in the comments. What? Do you think the cop overreacted? Do you think this guy overreacted? Would you have done the same thing? Let me know. And if you were a woman, would you have done what, what this judge's wife did? Or would you have done something different? Until next time, True Crime King, out.